and welcome to the British Shooting Show. Um, it's Shooting in Country TV, all the usual suspects, myself, Dave, Mick Garvey, all the others. Uh, it's a big show, crowds are piling in, so let's get in there and have a look. Hey everybody, it's Chris from the Deer Management Series on Shooting the Country TV. Um, I'm really lucky I've been invited onto the Shrofsky stand by Peter Antonio, who's the big cheese for Shrofsky in the UK. Um, so I'm here all three days just sort of getting to know the products better and obviously talking to people that come to visit. So, um, Peter, we've got loads of binoculars in front of us here, um, but we've also got these new compact telescopes. Do you want to tell anyone about those? We have, yeah. Um, Great to be here by the way, been a busy show which has been fantastic, been speaking to a lot of people and this has created some interest, a lot of interest actually, I should say some interest, a lot of interest. We launched these uh, end of last year, very compact lightweight telescope, uh, we do an angled version and a straight version, magnification is from 17 times up to 40 times magnification, so a lovely range, 40 times is quite high in terms of magnification. We have them on tripods, but I think you have a, a handle at the bottom of a grip, and you probably can handhold a 40 as well with a bit of stability. So um, a straight one would be great out stalking up on the hills in Scotland. With that extra magnification, you're going to see great distances, assess the situation, and to see whether it's a safe shot, basically. But on the angled. Um, slightly different viewing experience you're looking down into the telescope again very easy to operate the main ring here is focusing and the ring on the eyepiece is, is the zoom very straightforward but the quality of the optics very sharp colors fantastic contrast so in low light conditions you're going to see great images so yeah we're very excited about it Great, well thanks very much and uh, yeah, obviously if anyone's got local gun shops that stock the Shrofsky products, they can go and see them all there. They can. Here we are on the GMK stand and I've got Richard to tell me all about the new Veracity PH. Yep, the new Veracity PH from Burris. Um, so this, this is Burris's newest first focal plane scope. Um, but the really interesting and innovative piece about this scope is it actually comes with a heads up display in the reticule. Yep. Um, which you can either change your impact point yep. in calculated in MOA or in yards. You can upload all of your data on your ballistic coefficients of your ammunition. Uh, that's all downloadable from Barris's website. They've so got from the app directly yep, to the scope. Straight to the scope. Yep. So you can dial the scope into the rifle and ammunition that you're using. Right. And then when you know the distance to your target, you alter this digital dial into the yards for the impact point sure, yeah. on your head up display and it means that your crosshairs are on that target every time so no holdover no, no holdover under, no nothing, nothing. Right. it calculates an estimated windage value right. it gives you your holdover it even compensates for inclination if you're lying on a hill so uphill downhill thd as well yep, absolutely right. right this will be featured very much so in rifle shooters as soon as a demo unit available but uh, unfortunately, we can't really show you the display because that's a big camera and this is a small kind of ocular end. But it's very impressive. Um, so you'll see more of it in the mag, um, perhaps a, a follow-up video as well at yep. some point. But uh, yeah, you're going to love it. I do. Thank you, Paul. So I'm on the uh, Sportsman Gun Centre stand and overlooking at Element Optics and I've seen the Hyper 7 which is a, a prismatic scope and much, much more. Can you tell us a bit about it please? Absolutely. So it's a prismatic scope with seven times fixed magnification and it has a digital overlay inside of it so it's a digital reticle and it connects to an app so you have right. four ballistic profiles. You can change your own reticles, you can design your own reticles and upload it 
once it's uploaded, you can just put your phone away and it's all here. If you want to change it between guns, you can have a different profile for a different gun. Uh, it connects to a rangefinder as well with Bluetooth. So when you use it in range, it calculates um, with the range and your ballistic where to aim. So you need to change the axis. So it's not just telling you the range, it's also shifting the zero. Exactly. So it's doing, the, it's doing the adjustment for you. Absolutely. So you can either change the axis of the reticle or you get a point that's blinking. So you use your, that's your new aiming point. I mean, I've had a look through it, it's crystal clear as well, isn't it? It's, it's, Absolutely. it's, it's good glass. And also, I think those compact proportions, you know, it, it's been demonstrated on, on quite a long rifle, but perfectly yeah. suited to ball packs as well, and compact air guns, isn't Absolutely. It? And it has par parallaxes down, as a side parallax, down to six yards or meters, all the way up to infinity. Right, and is it yep. on sale now, or when, when can we expect to see it? It's going to be on sale sec port, second quarter of this year. Okay. Together with the range fight. Great, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Right, here we are at the infrared stall, uh, right. here we put Paul Dolgani, uh, as you probably know, I use all their stuff, uh, it's pretty damn good gear, but Paul, yeah, sure. your turn, tell us a bit about the new stuff that's going on. <laughs> so we've just launched some really, uh, really exciting new scopes, and we've also launched some new spotters as well, so talk you through a couple of them. This is the one which Dino was using here. Dino absolutely loved it, as you uh, saw his expression when he was videoing. So this is the new TL35 V2. And what's new about it is you can have an optional range finder, which can go on the side of all the V2 units. That's got a 384 sensor, and it's coming in at 2,299 pounds. From there, we move on to the TL50. So the difference between these two is, one's got a 35 mm lens, and this one's got a 50 mm lens. And this one's coming in at £2,500. So, really excited to bring in these V2 ranges. We are bringing in the V2 TL, uh, TH50 as well. That will be exactly the same as the older version. The only difference is you've got that optional range finder. We, all, we also have the big boy over there, which people get really interested and excited with, which is £13,000. Have you had a look through that? I haven't been able to touch it yet. <laughs> We're going to get Mick to have a look through this one in a minute. So this one here, so this has got a 75mm lens, it's coming out, this is uh, £13,000. reason it's £13,000, it's actually got a 1,280 sensor in it, which means it's the biggest sensor core ever been put into any sort of rifle scope. So Infrared have uh, broken the norm and uh, the American market wanted it, they've produced it and now we've managed to get it over here in the UK. So we sold a few of these units already and um, yeah. You'll know what your money is when you look through the unit. So it may seem a lot of money at £13,000, but it is absolutely super, super, super good. And I believe this is just what I need for my air rifle. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> we'll sort that out for you, mate, don't worry. So, we'll, we move over. <laughs> we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll move over to the spotters. So we've got a new spotters range, which is just come out. So we've got the new I series, which has just come out. So these are the new designs which they've come from, from Infrared. So, the reason everyone, I like these is because they're really compact, they fit into your pocket and they really fit well into your, into your hand as well. They work from a power system from your lid, so as soon as you open it, it turns on and as soon as you shut it, it turns off in standby mode. But you've also got your jog wheel here and that'll do all your zoom and menu as well. So it means that you're not trying to fubble around, trying to find buttons, you literally you can just use it one finger there. So really, really cool. We've got the E3 Plus, which has got the 25mm lens, E3 Max 35. They've also got the new E6 Plus, which we've just launched as well, with a 640 sensor. So we've got some really exciting products here over on the Infra stand. So if you're here for the weekend, come over, say hi, and uh, yeah, have a, have a chance at looking through some new products. Hi guys, here we are on the Hawk stand with Jamie. He's the main man at Hawk. And we're just gonna have another look because I love these things, at these new range-finding binoculars. They're uh, something new from Hawk, and uh, bang for buck, pretty hard to beat, yeah. aren't they? It's something that's been in development for quite a number of years. We've now got the quality of the lenses along with the electronics now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, only turned up in the country tail end of uh, last year. Um, and yeah, they're, they're fantastic, and you've obviously reviewed it. Yourself yeah, yeah. And um, there's some great comments with them as well. So, and yeah. selling like hotcakes? They are selling like hotcakes. Yeah, I thought they might the be. Truth. I thought they might be. That is the truth. And what's the RRP on these? The RRP, well, we do two versions an 8x42 that retails at 999 Yep. And for £100 more, you can get a 10x42 version. So, slightly higher mag, but the quality.
quality of the lenses and just the, the quickness of the, the, the laser and everything like that. Yeah, the thing is the exceptional. And the absolutely. reach as well. At the reach, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really yeah we've got an 1800 meter in the eight times and 2300 meter in the 10 times. So well, there you go. Get to a local stockist. Thanks. See you again. Thank you. Here are Thomas Jack stand uh, with the Pulsar Italian HG35. This is one of the latest scopes from, from Pulsar. Obviously, Tom is great sponsor hunting series on Shooting and Country TV. And here with Tom, and he can tell us a bit about the new, uh, new Italian. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. So, this is the brand new Italian XG35. This is just landed with us. So this is one of our first samples. Uh, it's a 640, 480, 12 micron sensor, sub 40 millikelvin. Obviously, in the familiar Italian body that we've all come to love. It's got the er great ergonomics, so you've got the focus ring there. When that blade is lined up there, that will be focused at approximately 70 yards. So in the dark, with your gloves on, you know where it's going to be. Uh, it's got the menu and the menu jog wheel there. And the battery, the familiar APS-5 battery that we use in so many other units, in the middle there. That will give you about nine hours of battery life. Uh, choice of mounts with it. Um, so you're going to have ones that go straight on a blazer from inner mounts and obviously the Pulsar ones that go straight onto a Weaver. Uh, we're very excited about this product. Uh, we hope to hopefully get one to you soon to do some more lovely yeah. film work. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we've, we've got a rabbit in the uh, session sorted out. Um, uh, yeah, can't wait to, uh, to get it mounted. Should be, should be an awesome video, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tom, appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your No worries. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Look forward to it. Right, cheers. Right, here we are at the whole optics stand. I'm here with Jim and Anson. We're going to talk about the sidewinders. We're also going to talk about these little beauties that were handed out last night. Not just one award, two awards. Well deserved. One's for the, well, Jamie, you, you, you tell me. Yeah, about no, it was great last night. Um, we picked up the award for best optics under a £1,000. And again, for the third year running, it's the sidewinder that took the, uh, the top spot. So we're really proud of that. Uh, we worked really hard to bring out this range of scopes, which are very versatile. So, um, yeah, very happy indeed. Tell us a little bit about the Sidewinders. Okay, so the Sidewinders are a range of 30mm scopes, okay, available in both first focal plane and second focal plane. It will cater for any form of shooting, albeit from your, your, your air rifle to your rear fire to your centre fire and such like as well. So, um, yeah, we're phenomenally proud of what we've achieved with the Sidewinder, which has only been out for around three years uh, since we, we, we changed the design. So, yeah, we've got a product line here that's yeah, year on year doing, doing the job. Absolutely. The Sidewinder's always been a favourite of mine. Uh, even before we got involved with uh, with the magazine and the, and the videos, I was buying these myself, I was using these myself. And I've known Jamie for years. And like, if it means anything to anybody, I can personally vouch for the side line. It's absolutely quality, quality glass, quality score. And I'm actually still using the older ones. Uh, but hopefully, yeah. that's going to change. It is, it is. Uh, but yeah, check them out. Fantastic score, fantastic price. Right, back here again on uh, the Hawk Optics with again with Jamie. Another prize winner, the, uh, the Frontier 34mm first local plane scopes. Awesome bit of stuff. Again, I'm a passion to Jamie, and Jamie's going to fill in on the, on the intimate details. Yeah, yet again, picked up uh, an award. This one is our first offering in uh, over a thousand pound category in the optics uh, uh, awards last night, and we came away with it. So, um, again, we only launched these last year. Uh, they offer a 34mm tube, so ideal for the real long range requirements, the amount of adjustment that can uh, be achieved and everything like that as well. So again, like I said about the sidewinder, we've put a lot of development into this range and it's now starting to show its, its rewards. So yeah, it's, it's a good range. Well, good well, range. well deserved rewards as well. I appreciate it, yeah. Well, we, we've put the best glass, the best quality we can in this and it really does justify the price point um, 100%. So, yeah. All I'll say is if, if, you, if you're in the market for some long range scopes, come and see these. Check these out, you'll not be disappointed. Jamie, appreciate it, mate. Again, Again all right, good to see you. Me. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, here we are at the Scott Country stand with the one and only Mr. Mark Ripley, and he's going to take us through what is. Probably the Night Vision Scope of the Year, the Alpex. It is, this is uh, the Hit Micro Alpex, which last night won the award for Best Optic. So, 
this is basically a true day night scope so you've got a color day screen and then you can automatically switch that over into a black and white night vision mode so it runs on an inbuilt battery which you charge via the port on the side there and you can also run it with a separate battery in the top there menu buttons on the side so you've got your, folk, uh, your zoom sorry by just turning the side wheel there clicks it into to zoom in yeah buttons on the back there you've got inbuilt recording and uh, photo option which just records directly to the inbuilt memory uh your mode button and your power button so and the focus on the front there so that is the basic rundown of uh, this scope and it comes with an ir 30 mil tubes so you can use normal day scope mounts with that um yeah it's been really really strong seller uh, the show price is 700 quid, 699. 699, right, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what the standard price is. I think it used to be about 799. Yeah, I think so it is 799, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good discount on that for the show. So, yeah. So, yeah, real nice little, uh, nice little unit and actually looks like a day scope as well, which is nice. So, it doesn't look yeah. sort of ungainly on, the, on your gun. It's another big release from Hicks that are coming out. Yeah, yeah, they keep. Big and fast at the moment, there's all kinds of stuff Constantly, coming out. Yeah, it's all good stuff too, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I've been very impressed with that. Hope you like it.